Hey friends, today I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful koi pond table. I started out with 18 ounces of resin with a little tint of blue in it. And then I laid in these rocks. You can lay these in any pattern that you want to. I just kind of started randomly laying them in, seeing what was going to look best. And then I bought these fish tank accessory things, uh, the little greenery and flowers. I broke those apart and laid those in there too amongst the rocks to give it a more of a fish pond look. And I just kept putting these in until I thought it looked good. And then I had a little turtle, a little bowl, and a little pagoda that I also put in there. Now I'm putting in these stickers. These are lily pad stickers I got off of Amazon. They're really easy to work with. And I layered those in. I put some in this layer and then you'll see me putting some in a later layer so that they can get layered in there. Now I've got 20 more ounces of resin. I split out two ounces and put a little bit more of the blue color in there to make it a little bit darker, just to give the pond a little bit more depth to it. So you see me putting in the light blue again and then pouring in that darker blue just in the center just to give it a little bit more depth there. And it all kind of blends in. I know it looks kind of crazy right now, but once it starts drying and shifting, it blends itself in. The koi fish I made myself and hand painted before I put in there. So they would look a little bit more like koi fish. So those are all layered in there really nicely. I'm just kind of spreading everything out. This table took a lot of resin, just to let you know. And here I'm gonna layer in some more of those stickers, just uh, giving that more depth. This is 20 more ounces of resin going in. I think this table used 96 ounces of resin by the time I was done. I also got this moss and I'm breaking off pieces of the moss and laying it on top of the rocks there, just giving it more of a natural look, just kind of making sure everything looks as natural as possible being in resin, if that makes any sense. Here we go with another 20 ounces of resin, layering that on top. And you'll see that I'm only using this light blue color for the rest of it. I only put that darker color in on that one layer. Time to take it out of the mold and see what we got. See how thick that is because of the rocks that I put in it. But it came out so pretty. I know my uh, filming is horrible. I'm trying to get better about that. I promise. I really am. So I'm just checking everything out, making sure there's no bubbles, making sure it looks good. And now I'm going to dome it to give it that final look. I'm going to gently, uh, what am I trying to say? File the edges just so that there's no sharp edges, but I'm leaving that lip on there. And then I'm going to wash it all down with 99% alcohol. I'm going to level it because that is very important in the doming is to make sure that it's level. I pour in about six ounces of resin on the top of this and then just spread it to that lip so that it doesn't go over the edges, but it goes right up to it. You have to make sure you are using enough resin to cover it about an eighth of an inch thick and it goes up to that edge otherwise it's going to pull away and you're going to get bare spots on your edge so i'm just very carefully spreading this all out using my popsicle stick making sure everything is all the way to the edges without going over that is why it's so important to have it level because if it's not level it's going to go over the edges and then you're going to have to clean up all of that do some sanding and i really didn't want to so here's the finished product i think it came out really good it's it's a 16 inch table on 16 inch legs. It's going to be a little side table and it's very heavy because of the rocks in it, but I think it turned out beautifully. I hope this inspires somebody, maybe gives you some ideas on a, a project for you to do, whether it's a table or something smaller, you can take this and run with it and have a great time. I hope you loved this video. If you did, give me that thumbs up and I hope to see you soon. Enjoy.
I will try to link as many of the products as I can in the comments below so that you can see what I use to create this table. Have a great day.